Welcome to another episode of Variant Reviews. On this episode, we review the bootleg Iron Patriot. What? Okay, so I go to a flea market and I'm walking around and I happen to look at a stand full of figures and whatnot and I come across this figure, this Iron Patriot. Uh, I don't know how he got there, but I had to get him, so I bought him. Now, quick background on this guy. The character is actually Norman Osborn, a.k.a. the Green Goblin. He, uh, he acquires a suit from stealing Iron Man's technology, and he uses it to his benefit, obviously. He ends up creating the Dark Avengers, and long story short, it's really a good series of comics. you got to really check it out. The, the Dark Rain issues, they're, they're really, really good. Anyway... Now, this figure's entire body is based off of the Marvel Select Iron Man Avengers figure. And I, I'm guessing they recasted it, and it's just a repaint of that figure. One of the accessories that comes with this figure, amazingly enough, comes with this shield. And I gotta say, it's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. It's a, the Captain America shield, the first Avenger. And I love the paint on it. It's 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 really decent. I really can't complain. Now, I think... I, I really got to say the paint actually looks better on this than the actual Marvel Select paint from the, the first Avenger shield, I think. The back of the shield, it still has all the same detail, the straps, the studs, like the first Avenger shield. But uh, I, I think they kind of messed up a little bit on the paint here. But I mean, I got to say, they did a good job of recreating it. It looks good. This Iron Patriot was designed by who knows who. But it comes with 16 points of articulation, stands over 7 inches, and comes with a shield, extra hands, and an American flag. Like I said before, it's pretty much a recasting of the Marvel Select Iron Man. Uh, so I can't give them props on Marvel Select's uh, design because it's Marvel Select's design. And it's an excellent design, by the way. So that being said, I gotta say the paint job is awesome, though. They did a really good job of just the selection of the blue and the red. It looks great. Now, when you get to the head, the first thing that comes to my mind is the eyes. The eyes are actually painted in white versus the Marvel Select actual Iron Man figure. If I do remember correctly, the eyes are kind of like dark. They're not really painted in. They should have been illuminated or something. But they're not. These guys actually made it look like the, the, the suit was turned on or something like that. Anyway, it, it looks good. It looks good. I like it. So the head does turn all the way around 360 degrees. Look at that. It goes up and down, down and up. That's as far down as it goes. And this is how far up it goes. So if you go far further back, you just pop the head off. So that's pretty much as far back as it goes right there. They actually sculpted a star and they placed it over the arc reactor. Or I don't know if they just filled it in. But it looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it shouldn't be there. But it, it looks pretty dope. It's, it's very passable. I like it. Now the chest has some articulation. It's very similar to the Colossus uh, Marvel Select figure. And, uh, you know, just go side to side, moving around. To demonstrate full arm rotation, I'll take this shoulder pad off so you can see. Without the shoulder pad, he has full ability to rotate his arm all the way around. Now, you can extend him out and turn him as well. You can bend him. He has a single elbow joint. Look at that. He's waving to you. Hi! The detail on the head is pretty phenomenal. They actually painted in the, the little repulsor on his hand. It does come with two sets of hands and the two grabby hands I actually put it on the flagpole that it comes with and one's a fully closed hand so you got to slide it through the circle another one's partially closed so it's more of a grasping type of a hand now getting to the back here it's again you can still see all the detail and they actually added the little yellow bronzy color there you can see a little spine here man it looks awesome and then you can flip this thing open. Look at that. They probably should add a little bit of paint detail inside of there. Maybe just a different color in there. But that looks good. It does not have a waist swivel. Uh, you can articulate the legs by turning them out like that. See how you can kind of get a little bend here going. But uh, I'm really not too fond of the legs. I never was. It does have single jointed knees. But you get a really good bend on them. It has an ankle tilt right here. See how you'll work that. 
they do turn around. It doesn't have it doesn't really have a tilt because I think these little things there they kind of hinder it. But I think it would tilt if it didn't have it. And it comes with peg holes at the bottom of the feet. At the end of the day, I gotta say I feel a little dirty for having this figure in my possession because I'm a big loyal Marvel Select customer, and I'm a big fan of their figures. So I don't know. I it just I'm just conflicted. I don't know. I might sell this or give it away. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But Again, I gotta say, thanks for watching another episode of Variant Reviews.